Hello everyone. In this course, we will see the advanced integration scenario between two systems, like how you can integrate two systems, how you can establish communication between two systems. If requirements are some uh, advanced type of requirements, like the sender system is sending different kind of file and receiver system is accepting a different format of file and also uh, mail adapter is uh, a mandatory to receive the mail after the completion of the sending and receiving process and after that uh, also we will see the message mapping like how you can do message mapping how you can implement formulas uh, like a standard formula or the custom formula you can build using a uh, groovy script in uh message mapping so let's start so first of all we will uh, create a requirement so for the requirement uh, like we will uh, create a custom requirement by our own uh, so that we can cover all the scenario like message mapping uh, file conversion mail adapter and also uh, enabling groovy script so this uh, the requirement will be uh, satisfying all this condition okay so let's generate the requirement first so here i have came to uh, ms paint uh, so that i can uh, visualize you like how you will be developing the integration scenario by after understanding the requirement so let me first uh, make it make a visual so this is a sender system and let me call it a receiver system and in between uh, we have cpi okay so let me write also so this is a sender system sender and this is receiver and in between we have our cpi so this is a cpi so let me connect it so sender system will first send our data to the cpi and after that cpi will process the data and accordingly it will send to the receiver system like how receiver system uh, wants the data okay so sender system could be anything like it could be sap system non sap system so let me write it so sender system can be sap system it can be non sap system and uh, it can be cloud also cloud or on premise anything is supported okay and same as uh, this uh, receiver system can also be same okay so let me copy and paste it okay so we have understood like how this works sender system will send the file uh, to cpi and cpi will process that file and uh, that will be received to the receiver system okay so like uh, here the requirement is like sender will be sending a csv format so let me write it also so here I am writing like uh, how it will be done. So file type. So here file type will be CSV format file. But what receiver will be receiving? Receiver will be receiving like uh, it will receive a JSON format to write in the database. Okay. So here the file type will be JSON. Okay. And after that, let's see uh, some other requirement. So field name, uh, field name will be different also. Like uh, sender will be sending some uh, field A, receiver will be mapping that field to field B. Okay, so that all we will write in a Word document. So let's let's write a, a, it in a Word document. Like uh, what fields uh, the sender system will be sending and what field uh, the receiver system will be receiving. So for that, we have to use the message mapping. Okay. So let me document it in a Word document. Okay, so let's write the field name of the sender system. Okay, so the first field will be we can write uh, anything like uh, you can take anything. I am going to take here as field one. I will take everything in the caps. Field one. Second, I will write as uh, field two. Third, I will take as uh, field three, and fourth, I will take as uh, similarly field five, field four, sorry, and field five. We will uh, keep only five fields.
okay so this is the uh, field names of the sender system our data and uh, what receiver system will be receiving like uh, let's keep it as uh, for the receiver system uh, we will keep these fields only but in the lower caps okay let me do it and i will convert this all into lower caps for that i have to do yeah so in cpi uh, everything is case sensitive okay uh, the field names are especially case sensitive so you can consider these at different fields okay this is uh suppose this is a uh, here we are taking it as a uh, purchase number so here we can take it as uh, order number okay so like this uh we will map these fields okay if if the field name of the sender and receiver system would be identical then there would be no need of uh, like mapping these fields okay but here the uh, field names are different okay like uh, if the receiver system would be also accepting the same as upper caps then there would be no need of the message mapping so for that we have to do the message mapping okay so let's keep it uh, in the uh, let me keep it in the ms paint uh, we have created so here so this will be the sender system data and after that for the receiver system data So this will be the receiver system data. Okay. So to send the field in the correct uh, of uh, sender system to the receiver system, what we have to do, we have to actually map these fields. Okay. So that will be done in the CPI. So we will see how we can do the CPI uh, mapping in the CPI. So I think here we are good uh, with our requirements. And one more requirement is like uh, after the sender system sends the data and it is received in the mm, receiver system we will have to send the mail to some users like yes the data has been received so that will also be done in the uh, cpi only so for that let's write here in the cpi okay so mail should be sent after receiver system receives the data says fully okay so these are some requirements so this requirement will be covering uh like uh, file conversion massive mapping and configuring of the mail adapters so we will see how we can do that so for now, uh, we don't have sender system and receiver system. We have only CPI. So we will use uh, internal uh, processing only. Like uh, we will use a start timer. Uh, I have already uh, shown that in my first course. So you can check uh, the, my first course uh, if you have not uh, checked yet. Uh, so we will uh, enable the start timer to internally process the data. Uh, that will act as uh, like whenever we deploy the integration flow that uh, data will be sent to the receiver system okay so let's see let's start with the integration scenario in our next video thank you guys we will meet in next video